everyone and welcome to the Auto Perspective YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to explain why I believe the new Wrangler 4xe could be the best option for those who have an active lifestyle and are looking to get a more eco-friendly vehicle to have some fun outdoors. First, I'm going to go real quick over some basic information explaining the hybrid system and how it adds just enough on top of the already impressive Wrangler's off-road capabilities without being too intrusive, which in turn allowed the 4xe to to remain a real Jeep, making it as a result the better option. Then I'm going to raise some important questions about the hybrid powertrain and lastly some conclusions. Introduction. The upcoming Wrangler 4xe was introduced back in early September and it is expected to be available as soon as early 2021. It will be a plug-in hybrid capable of going up to 25 miles on pure electricity and it has a combined 375 horsepower and 470 pound-feet of torque coming from a turbocharged inline four gas engine and two electric motors and yes this is the most powerful Wrangler yet now what you get with the hybrid you get only one powertrain option composed of three motors and a battery you get a 2.0 liter turbocharged inline four gas engine made it to an automatic torque flight eight speed transmission an engine mounted generator unit then a transmission mounted motor generator unit integrated into the eight speed automatic transmission and a 400 volt 17 kilowatt hour 96 cell lithium ion nickel magnesium cobalt battery pack in more simple terms you get three motors a gas one and two electric plus a battery pack to store the power generated for later use packing how they packed everything together is very clever it allows the benefits of a PHEV without not that many compromises other than less fuel capacity which what well, you don't really need since you have the batteries less cargo volume five cubic feet less when seats folded and four cubic feet less when in upright position. The other compromise is weight. It's way heavier. It can be more than 700 pounds heavier depending on engine options. The hybrid gasoline engine sits on its normal place, of course, with one of the two electric motors mounted in front of it and connected to the crankshaft pulley via a robust bell and replaces the conventional alternator. The second electric motor is mounted at the front of the transmission case, replacing the conventional torque converter of an automatic transmission and finally the battery pack sits underneath the second row seat protected from the outside elements which is especially crucial here given the off-road nature of a jeep and can be accessed by folding up the cushions of the seats they also integrated the battery chargers and dc to dc converter in a single unit for a more compact packing solution now how it works the way it works is you basically have three hybrid powertrain modes. You get hybrid, electric, and e-safe. Jeep says the 4xe can go up to 25 miles on electricity only. If the battery dies, the gas engine will take over regardless of the mode selected. The first mode, hybrid, this is the default mode, basically a mix of gas and electric power until the battery dies, then the gas takes over. The second, electric, like the name implies, electric power only until the battery dies or driver needs more power, such as a pedal to the floor situation. Lastly, the third mode, E-Safe, this one, Safe, the battery, basically drones on gas and charges the battery for later use. Still a Jeep. Now that we got the hybrid part out of the way and hopefully you understood what it's all about, I want to bring back something that I said at the beginning of this video about how the electric system adds just enough on top of the already impressive off-road capabilities. And that's a very crucial point. This is not a minor fraction of an inch lift with some off-road badges type of vehicle. No, this is a Jeep. First, First and foremost and the hybrid part it's been added to it meaning that all normal off-road goodies that make the Wrangler such a capable off-road machine drive from the factory are still there I'm assuming that they had to retune the shocks to handle the extra weight of the battery but other than that hardware wise at least in paper everything it's exactly the same same shocks same suspension setup same everything which means that this hybrid should perform the same if not better because remember I said adds just enough well with the hybrid you get the added benefit of electric powertrain mode which means you can tackle the trails running on electricity only that gives you low speed peak torque on demand which you don't get on a normal Wrangler and it's quite handy especially when you are going up steep climbs or rock crawling gets better final control and hopefully prevents you from being stuck spinning tires this is of course just on paper and hopefully it will work seamlessly but we still have to see how the system is implemented in the real world does the extra weight 
compromise the articulation and ultimately the suspension flex? Is that low speed peak torque going to be actually usable? Can the vehicle put the extra power to the ground? Are the electric components protected enough for the hybrid to be as reliable as a normal Wrangler? And even more important, how much is it going to cost over a normal Jeep? We don't know for sure yet, but if everything goes according to plan and this ends up being a normal Wrangler with a couple electric motors and some batteries, then to answer the question on the thumbnail, yes, this is going to be in fact the better Jeep. Now lastly, conclusions time. I think this Wrangler is kind of the perfect segue for those people who might be interested in an electric option but are still afraid of committing to a full electric vehicle. You get what at least at a first glance looks to be a normal gas car with the added benefit of a hybrid powered train that doesn't appear to be so overly complicated that ends up compromising the performance and killing the key features that makes the Wrangler such a fun vehicle and such a capable off-road beast. Cargo capacity sees a reduction and weight a big increase but those two aren't particularly crucial things for a Wrangler buyer. On the other hand though seat volume for passenger is unchanged. Ground clearance approach and departure angles too. You get every piece of off-road hardware that's axles, lockers, transfers, disconnectable sway bars, everything remains the same plus more range way more power and instant torque. Price though still remains to be seen and this is going to be a big factor on how well people are going to adopt it. But overall you get more than you lose and that's what makes the hybrid better.